Hi everyone and welcome back on adbelive.com. We are live from Adobe Max, the creativity conference in San Diego. And uh, we are very lucky today uh, to have uh, Sid with us. Hi Sid. Hello. Hi everybody. Good morning. Sid was already with us uh, two days ago. Um, First day. Uh, yeah, for live illustration. Mm -hmm. But then we, uh, we met with our friends uh, of Microsoft and they said, you know what, we have this new amazing device, the Microsoft Surface Studio. Would you like to do live illustration on the stream? We're like, oh yeah. Of course, and I that's, yeah. This happened. I am um, I'm a Surface Pro fan. I've I've been with the Pro line for two generations, so I'm really excited to get my hands on this thing. Nice, and we have uh, some friends in the chat. Of course. Hi everyone. Let Hello. us know where you're from. Uh, we're live from San Francisco, uh, from San Diego. Sorry. And uh, oh, what are you doing? I'm trying to see the chat. Yeah, but. <laughs> The monitor goes it up and moves. down. Here, let me let me hide myself for a minute. <laughs> and then it goes down. You can actually so nice. you can do it with one hand. Oh yeah. It's super light. It's one of the most amazing screen yeah, I've it's ever seen. The most amazing screen. It's yeah. I think the it's first so sharp. screen the first screen to like breach 4K resolution. So it's it's wild. Yeah. <laughs> Very impressive. This is not my first time playing with it. I did a demo the other day over in the Microsoft booth, but mm -hmm. I'm I'm very impressed with this device. And we have friends you see from Canada, Morocco. Chile just had an earthquake. Hope Thanks. everything's okay, Diego. <laughs> People from Poland, Algeria. Thanks for being with us. Hello, uh, everybody. So we have um, about 25 minutes together. Mm -hmm. Do you want yeah. to draw something? So I'm going to draw something, and I'm going to talk about what I'm going to draw first. Okay. Um, this is a series of drawings that I started a couple months ago using my Cintiq. I have a Cintiq 21 UX with my desktop setup that I stream from on Twitch. Um, I've done all of these on a Cintiq, and I was not actually able to do these drawings on my Surface Pro because of the pen lag. Um, the pen on this thing is so much more responsive that I was able to do a stump drawing on the on this device on, in the Microsoft panel the other day. So I'm gonna I'm gonna demo one of these live for you. Just real quick. And by the way, if you want to discover the work of Seed, I've just uh, put the link Thank to you. our Behance page in the chat. So make sure to follow Seed and uh, add some appreciations. Yeah, thank ya. Oh, I really love this keyboard too. I I have a wired oh, yeah. keyboard, so I need to I need to upgrade. I need this wireless. Oh yeah. This thing. This is a very very nice very keyboard nice. actually. <laughs> I'm just going to select off some um, some shapes. So you were saying you're already um, a Microsoft uh, yes. user. I switched over. <laughs> um, I don't want to make this too business pitchy. I just I always no, talk I mean, about we all my have devices. Our stories, I, mean. I got lots of yeah, I get lots of questions about this kind of stuff. Um, music. I um, I switched over to a Surface Pro three, maybe about almost two years ago now. Um, okay. I. I switched from a MacBook because my MacBook was getting old and my, my tablet, I had a little bamboo, uh, Wacom bamboo and it, it died, it was old. So I just upgraded entirely, I got a device that I could take with me. And since then I have just, I really latched onto these devices and I use one daily, I stream from them. Um, so yeah, because you're already a, a creative streamer I am a Twitch. creative streamer. I so stream on uh, Twitch, I stream on the Adobe channel as well as my personal, yeah. Whoops. I got my hotkeys turned on. Uh, we have Martin Blake in the chat saying, after having a Surface Pro 3, I want Surface Studio so bad. Of course, bad. yeah. Have you tried the pen from the 4, Martin? The pen on the 4 works with the 3, if you didn't know that. The, mm. the upgrades to the 4 pen um, you know? will work on the 3 screen. And you have the flip eraser, you can use the flip erase technology, <laughs> and uh, it's a good time. So I'm just gonna draw a stump. <laughs> I got my own brushes loaded into this thing. Ooh. So I've got actually I've got okay, brush. Oh, I've got Kyle's brush. wash brushes in here, I've got his Xerox brushes, and I've got a lot of my custom brushes. So yeah. I'm gonna grab one of his Xerox brushes. These are my favorites. So Kyle was live with us uh, uh -huh. yesterday. Yeah, I missed it. And uh, so you can watch the replay uh -huh. on Adobe Live. And also uh, we announced that uh, we give Kyle's brush for free. Mm -hmm. We announced that during the day one keynote. Yep. So I guess if you search, if you Google uh, Adobe Max Kyle brush free, yeah. <laughs> you, know, 
you will find the link to a blog post and then you will get, get yes, brush. So you is, use Kyle's brush? I do. I have all of Kyle's brushes <laughs> on my channel at this point. This is one of my most asked questions, you know, what brushes do you oh, use? Yeah. So we have a lot of automation with Nightbot and such to just say, they're Kyle's. Most of them are Kyle's. <laughs> uh, so Music Person is asking, does that have a good displays angle? Uh, I don't angle. know what you mean by angle, but what do you mean actually by angle? She, she can decide. Yeah, yeah you, it you goes can, up and down. You take so the screen. If I want to draw, and I think you can see it back here, yeah, can um, it. I can draw this way. This feels a little awkward like, uh, for me though, so I'm going to put it down Leonardo flat. Leonardo da Vinci. Yeah, no. no. I'm used to working on a Cintiq, which I have pretty much flat like this on my desktop, so this feels very natural. Um, Melly's asking, do you have palm, uh, palm rejection? Yes, there is yeah. palm rejection. Yeah. And palm you don't rejection. have any, I mean, you don't no. need uh, to wear a glove no. or anything. No. It just works. It just works. That's worked in um, most of their devices, at least the ones that I've done or I've used. So do you work in several layers? Yeah. Usually. I do. Yeah. I do. So I'll start using some clipping layers here soon. I need like a oh. countdown or something to show you uh, <laughs> what I'm going to be doing. But <laughs> I'm just going to throw in some of a ground layer here just to get something underneath this thing. Okay. Um, I'm going to go and select this layer and then remove that green. Now I'm going to clip layer to um, to the stump. So we have a question from uh, Dunkling. He's asking, like, can you compare the experience between uh, the previous stylus and the Surface Pro and, uh, um, and now? The three pen was upgraded a lot. Okay. They are very better, very much better now. Um, the pen is heavier, it's weightier, it's longer. It has a flip eraser, it has um, clicky buttons. The battery oh, does can, not you die. You can flip it and, yes, and it becomes an erase. Oh yeah. my god, that's so good. Yeah, so it has flip eraser like a Cintiq pen. Um, and the battery doesn't die. The battery was actually a huge issue with the three pen for some oh, reason. Oh, okay. And just in terms of um, lag and latency, it's so much better now. Just with this device, I'm noticing differences. Like I said, these were drawings that I was doing um, on a Cintiq that I, I wasn't able to do this kind of detailed lasso kind of selection work off of my Pro 4. So they're making advancements, which is really cool. And uh, we have a question uh, from Errol saying, will Photoshop CC be able to use the surface dial for photographers, artists, etc.? Yes, it will. Yes. We have it, uh, I don't we have have it, it here. I'm not going to use it today. Yeah. It's very nice, but mm -hmm. for her uh, workflow, it's not very... I use hotkeys a lot, yeah. so... <laughs> it won't really help. It's not quite um, there yet. But yes, Adobe is working, of course, uh, with Microsoft to uh, upgrade the experience for our users, so you will be able to use the dial. I'm really hoping that it's going to be customizable. It's very nice. Customizability is going to be very important. I'm throwing in some shadows now, if you can see what I'm okay. doing. So you start with... Uh, some wood. I start with a base shape. <laughs> then some grass. Uh -huh. And then some shadows. And then some shadows. So just defining the shape out a little bit. Let's put that in. Cool. We'll say that looks good. Gonna multiply it. Oh, Pink Lady has, a pro has an issue. An issue? Her screen burned. What? So yeah. Get a surface. Yeah. Get a surface studio. Burnt? Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, yeah. hope everything's okay. I mean, it's a good opportunity. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Perfect time to get a surface. Yeah. Or a surface studio. I'm going to grab this layer again and I'm actually going to work s subtractively. Oh, yeah. I can tell you it's very responsive. It I mean, is. watching you draw. It is. It really, really is. Uh, because at uh, Adobe Max, we're very lucky because all the attendees can experience mm -hmm. and uh, try the Microsoft Surface Studio. They have a magnificent yeah. uh, booth, very big, I get with a lot uh, of many devices, a lot of questions. So uh, When I recommend these devices to people, um, yeah. I always recommend you just kind of find your local Best Buy. They have, they'll have oh, these they there have to a demo. demonstration yeah. booth? Oh, mm -hmm. nice. Yeah, you'll be able to demo them locally. And um, if you're looking to purchase one, you can always look into like, you know, return policies. I've done that in the past. 
you know, if you don't like it. And uh, no Esther is asking which uh, hotkeys or keyboard shortcuts are you using? I am just using um, Control Z for undo. I'm using uh, what Control am I using? D? Oh, it's no. so it's so like instinctual. Yeah. Um, Maybe Control D to unselect. Yeah, Control D to, to unselect. Um, Shift to add to the to the selection. Okay. Oh yeah, to add. Yes, and then Alt, Alt. to subtract. Okay. Yes. So everything is on the left. Yes. Oh, highlights. Yeah, add some lighting in here. There nice. we go. Looks pretty good. Uh, Alexon is asking, it only works with the pen. So you, you can use the mouse and keyboard, of course. Yes. You, know, uh, you can also use your um, fingers if you want to use the, all the gestures, like the classic touch gestures that you have now on, on, on Windows. There is a lot of touch. Um, you can, this is touch screen. Yeah. So Which I guess you can ping. It's a big difference for me. I'm not even quite used to that. Um, I'm just trying to show you how sensitive the pen is today. But yeah, all of these. But when it comes to the pen, of course, you need the Microsoft one. Yes, you need to use this one. Do I use the Surface Dial much? I haven't gotten to try it too much, Trip. Um, it's here, right, it's right here. It's really cool. It goes on the screen. Um, right now, the, the capability are undo, zoom, yeah. Um, I'm looking forward to the Adobe interfacing. Yeah, it's great. more custom yeah. per... Coming. Yeah. Someone's asking, will, will it be available on Premiere Pro? Yeah, yeah I mean, um, I can tell you that all the teams in charge of the apps, of the Creative Cloud apps, are uh, very excited by the dial uh, because it will really uh, yeah, um, open a new way to directly uh, work. Um, I think it makes sense. Someone was asking with Premiere Pro, I think it makes sense also to uh, very quickly Rubbing, manipulate yeah. the timeline, you know. So, yeah. yeah, that does make sense. I, I have some people asking about 3D capability, if it's going to be usable in 3D mm -hmm. um, environments to, you know, oh, yeah, to flip and rotate and tumble and all add that the kind dimension. Of stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't make sense. Yeah, I used to work a lot in Maya, and I had a little mouse that kind of did some stuff like that, but it wasn't customizable. You couldn't program it to do oh. what you wanted, so it wasn't as useful as it could have been. So how are we doing on time? How am I doing we on time? We still have like uh, 15 minutes. Oh, okay. We're good. And you're done. <laughs> <laughs> We're good. <laughs> so someone was asking, why do you uh, start with a selection and then you draw? I think, I, think, um, I make images very naturally with shape. I don't okay. see things in line, which a lot of people see things in line. Mm. I see things in shape. So I kind of work like I'm collaging, I think. Um, I like cutting stuff out of magazines, piecing oh, okay. it together. This is kind of that. This is also kind of a technique that has come over from watercolor. I worked in watercolor for a long time. Oh. Um, you With watercolor, you can, oh, yeah. you can load your brush up with water. You can put down a big wet shape, say, you know, the shape of the stump, and then you can take the paint and you can fill that in, and it kind of spreads out into the shape, and the, the edge of the puddle is your, is your boundary for that. This is kind of the same way. That I'm working the same way. OK. Interesting. You don't like amazing. Yes, she is. So if you want to guys. watch more, I stream every day. She streams every, day. She streams every, <laughs> day, every day on Twitch. So it's twitch.tv slash seedwell. I will put the link in the chat. I guess it would be Thank you. easier for our friends. We are super close to hitting 2,000 followers on my personal yeah, channel. Yeah, I saw that. That's I pretty cool. Thank you all. <laughs> so yeah. I told my viewers that... Um, we need 2,000 followers, okay? So when I When I hit Twitch. it, I have to wear a Bob Ross wig on stream. Oh, yeah. That's their reward. <laughs> That's their reward. Maybe we'll do a giveaway or something. So yeah, if you want to discover how she looks with uh, Barbara's wig, yeah, go on on Twitch now. It's, gonna, it's not going to look link good. And make sure to follow her on Twitch. <laughs> I think I'm going to pull out some of my custom brushes now. <laughs> um, make a lot of a lot of brushes that do stuff like this Ooh. within yeah. Photoshop. So maybe not quite that one. Okay, we have a workflow question. Okay. Uh, do you work directly with colors without any grayscale values? Yes. Yeah. 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 I uh, go right in and then I I hit Control U. Whoops, wrong layer. 
So I hit Control U, um, oh, I see. and that allows you to change the color to whatever you yeah. want it to. Well, that's not a good example, but um, if you don't like the color, you can just U shift it. Uh, it's preview check. There it is. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> it took a second to catch up with me. Um, yeah, you can change lightness, saturation, all that kind of stuff. So you can just work until it looks good. So what is is asking when does this device uh, will be available? It's out of stock. Really? They sold out? I don't know. Sorry, guys. <laughs> or did they, did they start to... Is it I already... Pre-orders uh, are available, yeah, I know that. Yeah, pre-order. Wow. I didn't know they sold out, though. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm not sure about it. Maybe we can ask our friend. Raphael, I have a question for you. We have some people in the chat, they want to, to buy it. They want to buy it? Yeah. They can pre-order it. Yeah, they, they can pre-order. So yeah. if they go to a shop today, there is no, it's not available yet. Say, no. Ah, OK. They because they were scared, they were like, oh my god, it's out of stock. Yeah. No, it's not out of stock. Yeah. You can pre-order it. You can pre-order it. It'll be available in quarter one. Ah, OK. Quarter one. So early next year. Yeah. OK, cool. Ah, oh, we were scared. That's so far away. <laughs> So we are good, guys. We have Raphael working from Microsoft, it. so yeah. Yeah, we are safe. That's nice. So yeah, don't be scared. You can get one. It's just that you pre-order, it's not available yet. Yeah. Uh, so that's why we are very lucky. It's very exclusive, you know, to have a seed working on it. And they get a dial for free when they pre-order. Oh, and the dial yeah. is free if you pre-order now. Yeah, now. So, yeah. That's so cool. Sure. Thank you. It's good. Pleasure. Uh, someone is asking, how is drawing slowly? Does it wobble? I'm not sure about wobble. I guess. So let me show you. This. So on the uh, the pieces that I do, you know, I put a lot of line work into the wood grain here. Oh, nice. Um, that's all hand done, and this is the biggest issue that I um, I had with the Surface Pro Four. It isn't because it would. Um, it's 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 got a wobble to it, so okay. I don't I don't notice that as much here. So let me just put that in. I'm going to go grab one of Kyle's little brushes again. Okay. Make sure it's set to normal. There we go. <laughs> Change the size. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wow, it's amazing. So I'm someone is asking, how does the pen preference feel? I mean, I guess you have the demonstration now, Neil, in the chat. Hi, Neil. Um, pen performance, it's good. It feels better than the four. Um, it's, I, it's not quite where my Cintiq is in terms of feel because my Cintiq has a grip. It's got a tapered grip and it's got... Oh, you mean for your hand? For my finger, yeah. So this one feels more like a hard pencil. <laughs> like Maybe I'm drawing with a hard pencil. I'm sure someone will... Uh, I really you, you see what I mean? would love to see a third party kind of grip yeah. that you can put on it. I'm sure someone will make it that I've seen friends... Um, use like sticky tack and stuff that you use to stick oh, yeah. walls to make their own to just mold to their hands. Uh, Chris is asking you, do you have any tips into what canvas size you should create your artwork? I just work extra big in case I want to print it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, you can always go bigger when working, um, or you can always go smaller. You can always shrink it when you're working in raster in Photoshop but you can't make it bigger than it is created at. So if you have the computer to do big files, might as well. Storage is pretty cheap. So I hope this is kind of showing off that this oh, yeah. line is, um, there's not much jitter. I don't actually have the pen pressure thing on. Um, like, it is very responsive. Right. Very nice. Because like, <laughs> Elizabeth product. is asking, Sid, is it, uh, is this your Microsoft Surface Studio? Oh, I wish. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> no, I do not have one of these. Rocket is asking, will there be a giveaway? Yes, there will be a giveaway will? during the next stream. Oh, okay. Which will be in uh, in ten minutes. But Sid, we will have to stop in about five minutes. Okay. Uh, I can be done with in the uh, time. Mara Grunland. 
okay. who is working in uh, Illustrator, we will do a giveaway. Yeah. We'll give away actually a one year Creative Cloud subscription. Got five minutes to finish my stump, you guys. I can do it. Oh, yeah. Almost done. And again, thanks for coming, Sid, because this is not something that was planned. No, so, uh, that's okay. It's great. I really wanted to, they, I, they didn't even finish their sentence. They were like, do you want to? And I was like, yes. <laughs> so I want to asking, draw on it What more. is this mobile app? So this mobile is the app. Microsoft Surface Studio, so you can run the full application. So this is a full Photoshop CC coming from Creative Cloud. It's not a specific app. Yeah. Uh, Bruno Curse is asking about the screen size. Like, does it bother you? Uh, yeah, bother you with the head? Or? Um, no, because I'm used to working on a 21-inch screen. I work on a 21-inch Cintiq, which is not that right. much, um, you know, smaller. There's a lot. It's like the perfect length for my arm, though. Like, I don't have to reach I think too it far. Has been designed for you. Yeah, right. I have kind of short arms, and it's it's perfect. <laughs> Is there Photoshop Sketch for Android? Uh, this is definitely coming. There is a beta program that you can join today, actually, if you uh, search on the web. But this is coming like, it's really like a matter of weeks now. Uh, someone is asking, have you tried also uh, to draw on an iPad Pro? Yes. Yeah. It does not work for me. Yeah, and, and what is different also is that you it's not the full Photoshop. Exactly. Then it's a mobile um, app. I mean. That's a lot of reasons. It's, yeah, it's a software issue. Um, the features in the mobile apps aren't what I use. Like, I'm using a lot of selection. I'm using a lot of clipping, yeah. alpha masking. Um, those are not available in the full Photoshop. But um, it's also just, like, feeling preference. You know, product design in terms of hardware is as important to a digital artist as brand of paint to a traditional artist, um, just in terms of how the paint feels, how the pen feels. I'm really used to this, so this feels very, very natural to me. Um, the iPad felt a bit too slick. Personal preference, though. Nothing wrong with it. I have a new fan, Munir. Who? He's a fan of you, Munir. Welcome. <laughs> Come to my channel. There we go. What, is, what am I doing on time? Okay, see it. We put some pressure. You have two minutes. Okay, I'm almost done. <laughs> Let's do some. Uh, there we go. A little bit of delay with the gradient, but let's put some final little stuff in here. So they are talking about the tip of the pen. Maybe if, uh, I don't know. If the tip How we of can it? describe the tip? Yeah. It's kind of like a ballpoint pen. Yeah, very precise. It's um, it's not tapered like the iPad pen. The iPad pen is a complete like a cone yeah. shape. It does protrude out of the casing a little bit. Um, mm -hmm. It feels just like a ballpoint pen. Like the housing feels like a ballpoint pen. That's a good way to describe can it. Can repeat the link to your her channel? Yes. Here you go. Putting in some little, you know. And on Behance, okay, I will put the link on Behance too to her Behance account. Come to my channel, we have good music and a cute dog. <laughs> <laughs> Where is the dog? She's at home with my mom right now. Okay. She didn't get to come, she's not a professional. Not bad for like. Look at that, like people in the chat. <laughs> 25 like, minutes. 25 minutes. <laughs> it looks great. Thanks, guys. Oh, one more brush I want to put in here. Am I good? I got time. Oh, they said that apparently you hit uh, 2,000 Twitch followers. Did I? Thank Let you me guys. check. Let me check. <laughs> I don't have the wig to put on. <laughs> oh. That's a long road. That's been Let a long road, you guys. Yeah, thank you, guys. <laughs> yes, 2003. Wow. Thanks, everyone. Thank you, guys. See you on Twitch. And if you are at Adobe Max here today, which I don't know why you wouldn't be right here, 
but I am speaking about creative streaming today here at 2.30. So sign up for my talk and it will be recorded, I believe, yeah. if you can't see it. And the replay will be available on Adobe Live. Cool. Yeah. And, and on Adobe Max, there will be your talk. Awesome. It's time to say bye. Okay, we're done. Dun, dun. We're done. Thank you guys. Thank you guys for hanging out with Thank me. Thank you, Sid. Hope I answered questions. Thanks, Microsoft, for giving us the opportunity <laughs> you, to uh, demonstrate the Surface Studio. Yeah. It was great. Bye, everyone. Bye, guys. <laughs>